Hey everyone, out here in Las Vegas in the heat because we're of course here for Black Hat, DEF CON and beyond. I'm at the new RTA building. I'll do a couple videos about that for you, but I can't get to the building right now. It's on the other side of this fence. I mean, there's not really much of a barrier, right? Fences are mostly out there just to kind of delineate property, maybe keep some animals and debris out, but they are a kind of barrier. They can be a pain in the butt to get over. It's, you know, you got to climb. If you got a bunch of gear, you're doing some penetration or even just recon, putting eyes on target. Yes, I could scale this, but if this were a little taller, if it had a topper on it especially, they become cumbersome. Now, there's a lot of improvised solutions out there that you might see online with blocks of wood, or, you know, you, you big a heavy enough object next to the fence, you can get over it, but then you're leaving a big conspicuous object right near the fence, and you're stuck on the other side, unless you have a similarly large chair or box or cow. So we didn't like that. So we made these. Fence climbers. This is not a new idea. Uh, these have been around for a very long time. In fact, the original patent from these goes back decades, right? It was just kind of like a weird bent piece of rebar. And then a company called Blackhawk make a set of these. Uh, Zach Tool made a set of these. None of those are available anymore. I don't know why. They were kind of okay. They folded up a little bit, not like ours do, frankly. I, I really do like the, these collapsible versions that we make now. But if you need to scale a barrier, this instantly gives you step up, step down on the other side. And we've even seen uh, not too long ago, I remember this piece of news footage when I was working on this, somebody reached out and they're like, hey man, you coming along well with those fence climbers? They could have used them. Uh, this is actually footage from, remember when that kid with bad aim took a shot at Donnie and uh, just missed hit his ear? This is literally footage of the various authorities on scene that day in Pennsylvania trying to get to the building where the shooter was like on the roof and they couldn't get through the fence. So one dude's ramming it with his cruiser and other people are trying to use chairs to bend the fence up and all these cats with all their big kit on them, like they couldn't hump it up over the fence. They were trying to squeeze through like kids breaking into a water reservoir somewhere. Hell yeah, fence climbers. Yeah, so this is footage of my very decidedly non-tier one ass hopping over an eight foot fence like it's absolutely nothing. Again, these aren't a new concept. Uh, the patent for these expired back in 99. I just hate that you can't get them anymore. So I knew we could do better than the ones that had been on the market. I worked with our machine shop. We made some test articles over time. We revised and refined them. And this is the result. They are really effective. They're incredibly strong. When we were first manufacturing them, we actually put them in a strain gauge and a test rig at our machine shop. And they were yielding at like 400 pounds of weight. Even then it was just the rivet was sort of tearing out. So we've, we've even beefed up the rivet on these. And when you think about it, first of all, if you are 400 pounds trying to get up over the fence, either you're gonna hurt yourself or you're humping way too much gear. You'd have to be wearing full tactical kit, including plates, maybe carrying a rifle, a full complement of ammo, plus, I don't know, a small engine block or a carnival popcorn making machine or several cases of beer. And now that they're completed, we actually even have a nice molly strap style case that you can hang them on your gear, throw them in your trunk, you name it, all ready to go. Why the hell do you people live in this town? <laughs> My phone's completely shut off, both of them, outside because of the heat. It's, what is it, 110 outside today? Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, these have been a passion project of mine for a while. I love good design. I hate that some things exist and then just companies go out of business. You can't have them anymore. People that have seen these, they, they were hot for these, man. Our govy guys, all of our military friends, like people like that, a lot of first responders. I played with a couple of versions of this product now. I have made this version that you're seeing here. This is the red version. In, it's made in steel, obviously, for maximum strength. The version I've also made for some people who maybe have to carry this on their kit, because again, we've got that molly carrier, right? If you're in the field and you're operating out there, you're already carrying enough. So I made a version out of aluminum and still really high strength, hundreds of pounds of weight. They're a little bit thicker, but they weigh considerably less. This, let's be honest, this is for first responders, your truckies and other people, you're not carrying these in your bunker gear. You're leaving these in the back of the van or in the, in, you know, in the cab or something like that. So you don't care that they're bright red and not tactical looking. You don't care that they weigh a little bit more. You want them to be robust. I am really happy with these. If you're interested in them, 
We have them. We have them on the website that I don't, I don't name. They're up there. They are also at DEF CON. We're going to be at the vendor booth uh, at DEF CON, be the vendor area this year. And yeah, just come, come to industry places, right? So the Fence Workers of America, the, the Fence Podcast, right? The Fence Guys, Brian and his friends, we showed this to them at ISC. And I was climbing up, up and down all kinds of things at their facility. They were having a hoot. Speaking of ISC West, I will have another video out at some point. Uh, I still have some content from that trade show earlier in the year, right? Our friends at Magnosphere, they were checking these out. They were like, oh, yeah, D, if you got that fence climber thing, right? Have you seen our new thing? If you don't know, uh, Magnosphere, their manufacturers, mostly of, you think, door access control sensors and such. They make other sensors, especially for your perimeters now. They had a fence shake sensor. And I was like, oh, man, could I try installing this and putting weight on it? I bet it'll set off the sensor. He's like, man, it's going to set off the sensor just putting it on the fence, depending on how we tune that. And you can see, right, in this footage, you can see me deploying the sucker. Well, yeah, it goes above the threshold pretty quick. So just because you have a fence, it doesn't mean it is the end-all, be-all of your security. It's frankly the reason that I prefer Palisade-style fences. They look nicer. They have better anti-climb properties. You're not using the fence climbers on them. And also why I like electronic monitoring. So yeah, look for that. Look for other things from us. Look for us at DEF CON, Black Hat, and beyond. Uh, look for us on the Fence Podcast, the Fence Workers of America at some point. But look for me on the internet if you want these. Uh, they're not going to be cheap because, again, machining costs a lot. But you know what? This will be the giveaway this week. Don't do anything stupid and illegal with them, right? But yeah, I haven't done a giveaway uh, for the last few videos. You want a set of these? You can have a set of these. I sent them to a few of my other first responder friends, uh, my rescue crews and such. We're getting some good feedback. But if you want to be one to get them, sign up down below. You do it once, you're good forever. Maybe you win the drawing. I will maybe see you in Vegas. I'll maybe see you at another trade show or a training. Uh, we do still have our DEF CON training. We've got RTA trainings coming up left and right. Whether you're an attacker or a defender, whatever side of the uh, fence you're on, <laughs> I hope that you and your loved ones stay safe out there.